Oh, what is this? Another random gameplay? Sure, why not? It's Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. Wario's main debut, so to speak, in his own game. We got a little pirate duck. Oh, oh run away! <laughs> Wario's coming for your treasure! Oh no! Don't stop! He's gonna get you! Wario is so greedy, he will stop at nothing. He will even ninja himself to the other side of the screen to get you. <laughs> Wario, for being as big as he is, pretty nimble guy. Alright, let's get this started. <laughs> I don't know if I got all the exits in this game. So, yeah, but I would have to check that before I would do a walkthrough on this game or something like that. Anyway, press down to enter, and here is the world map. I can't go anywhere, obviously, because uh, I just started a new game here. So let's go to Rice Beach. I'll probably play up to the first level and you can jump you've got a charge attack with the B button jumping is a button you just walk with the control pad obviously that's classic side scrolling there and you can also knock blocks from the side that's what makes Wario different than Wario although Mario does have that power when he uh, has a turtle suit but that thing is so hard to control <laughs> That thing, oh, that thing is, well, oh, I guess, I suppose he's also got the uh, Tanuki suit, as well as the uh, Leaf in general. I want that. I want that. <laughs> and I will break, oh wait, isn't there something in here? Yes, there is. This will give me a spiked helmet, which will let me do a lot more things than I could do. Well, first off, I can now do ground pounds. I can also break blocks in one smash now. Can't break the ones with faces on them, though. I guess Wario is like, no, I don't want to actually kill the guy, so he, so he just leaves them alone. Although he does, does bounce into them quite viciously. <laughs> so anyway, let's just move on. And I wouldn't say this is a secret, but it's, I guess it's a hidden area. <laughs> It's off the beaten path, that's for sure. What is in here? Coins, blocks, more blocks, and a heart. Oh, jeez, I shouldn't have destroyed all the blocks. Dang it. <laughs> uh, I forgot how to get up there. That might be a return path. Hold on. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's a return path, because I can do this. Why didn't I break that one? <laughs> that's kind of weird. I guess that was just for Z hearts, and I suppose a few coins, which I'm gonna leave behind. Uh, always have 10 coins on hand. Well, at least 20, actually. You'll, you'll see what I mean a little bit later as I get into this more. Uh, there's a thing that if you... Well, I'll show it when it gets time. Wow, that muncher just ate him just like nothing. <laughs> actually, are those even munchers? They, they're kind of like munchers, the way they act, but... But they're not quite like munchers in appearance. Hmm. Oops. I need to do... Because I kind of broke the block that I need to get up there. And Uh-oh. <laughs> um... Uh-oh. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> ah, there we go. I forgot about that. <laughs> There's always a secret way to get up something if you think you br broke your way back. I thought they wanted me to do like a charge jump like that to get up there if I broke the, all the bricks, which is why I just bothered to, I mean, which is why I broke them all. That is definitely not where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Unless maybe I'm supposed to have enough hits to get through there. And so yeah, it, so the game is built fairly in that way. I just didn't know where exactly the hidden thingy was that let me get through there. Now this is what I was going to... I got it stuck in the wall. <laughs> this is what I was going to demonstrate earlier. If you press B, I mean, if you hold up and press B, you'll whip out 10 coins and be able to feed the coin god here, <laughs> which will uh, give you checkpoints and open up new paths. See that little up B on the background there to teach you how to do it? It's as if the world was created just to teach you how to play the game. Uh, I always have enough coins for that, so do I have enough hearts for that? Yes, I do. Uh, I'll just play the C chorus. The idea, the, the power, strangely, is in the center, and you want to get it directly into the center, if at all possible, to be able to hit the guys in the background. I don't get why it's not on either end, it makes no sense. <laughs> oh, and you can also aim yourself by going left and right, like so. Oh shoot, that's not going to make it. 
or maybe it will. What? But, uh, yeah, I've, I've hit the right end of it before, and that it just doesn't work. Watch. Oh, shoot. Well, that just really sucked. <laughs> but I'll, I'll just show you it once. I'll be able to hit the right end of it, and it just will not make it... Wow, my timing is really bad. I should be playing more DDR or something like that, or Mario Golf. Now watch. No, no, it, it didn't... Huh. I always remember the middle being the... the power... spot, but... Because I remember getting on the right side before, and it, it coming up short, actually. Maybe it just glitched on me or something like that. Oh, well. <laughs> so I guess it does make sense after all. I'll show that game again when I actually have another shot at it. I just gotta play through another stage. There's more garlic. Mm, Gar Wario loves his garlic. Great for his breath. I mean, literally great for his breath. It's bre better than what his breath normally is like. <laughs> I happen to like garlic myself quite a bit, because I like my Italian food and stuff like that. And this is a dragon hat. If you press the B button, you can shoot out a stream of fire. You can't do your charge attack anymore, which is kind of sad. Those guys are really bouncy, but you su surprisingly can't kill them if you were to do that and then hit them with fire. I don't get that either. <laughs> Uh, you can pick up guys I forgot to show, by the way, and throw them at other guys. I, I mean, I, I did show that accidentally, but I never really explained it. Oh! Come on, come on, fall. There we go. And carefully get past the onslaught of sea creatures. And I, I should be getting more coins, shouldn't I? Because there's a check... Oops, there's a checkpoint coming up in just a sec. There we go, I have enough now. So now I can show you how the coinage thingy works. Got the ladder. This is a checkpoint, and there's my helmet back. So you press up and hold up. Got it? Press B. Throw coin at thing. Oops, not close enough. And that's a checkpoint. <laughs> and you also need coinages to open the the uh, wall, I mean the door at the end of the stage as well. Wait, did I skip a lot of the stage? I think I skipped a lot of the stage, to, oops, to my memory here. Yeah, I did. That's... Oh, oh my. <laughs> is this a power-up? Yes, it is. I need that. This is great for breaking blocks, by the way. Because you can just do stuff like that. It also just pretty much rapes enemies. Yeah, it's it's pretty overpowered. <laughs> uh, you know what? I will, I will take this. Okie dokie. I wonder how much of the stage I missed, though. Maybe I should just move on. And this gives you the power to jet across the air. Oh, here we are. This also lets you bounce into things like so. Uh, will it let me... Yeah, it's just like a standard charge otherwise. Okay, I just wanted to confirm that. I, the way that it looks, you know, it's like a whoops, powered up charge. It looked like it would make, let me break through more bricks at one time. But that is not the case. Alas... If I go through here, can I cheat this and get another power-up? No, I can't. Too bad. <laughs> they were savvy to that exploit. Go on, fall. There we go. Do not want a spiky guy in my cranium. That is not something that that would be very good. I mean, that would be kind of embarrassing, Dr. Viz. It would be like, so how did you get this sea creature in your head? Well, I was walking under it, and, well, it just fell on me. The doctors will be like, it just fell on you, why would it fall on you? I was like, I don't know, I think it was out to get me. And the doctor would be like, oh, come on, you're just exaggerating here. No one's ever going to believe that. And you just noticed in Mario games, the wildlife is always out to get you. And no one would ever, ever believe that. <sighs> but it, it works in... Uh, ooh, nice. <laughs> Found the secret, accidentally. But it works in Mario games, not so much in real life. And I'm going to kill you without any trouble whatsoever. Uh-oh! Uh, need to get some pocket change out! In we go! No, I don't have enough coins for the bonus stage now, do I? At least not for the, um, heart one. I can go on this one, though. This is a guessing game. Look at his face! He's like, ah! Which one is- I want to win! I'm so excited! Oh, which one should I pick? I'm gonna pick this one! Oh, I failed! And that cuts your coins in half. <sighs> Actually, it rounds it down to the nearest half coin. <laughs> 
So as you've seen, I, I lost five, even though I had nine coins. Dang it! I'd like to at least, at least double my coins, but I've already failed at that. <laughs> there we go! And this will give you... For every win, you get double the coinages. So you can get some good coins on there if you're a good guesser. Don't count on it, though. <laughs> Oh, and there's also treasure to collect in this game as well for 100%ing uh, this game. See the A through O there? Yeah. Next stage is more Rice Beach. Oh, by the way, a little circle next to the stage indicates that there's a secret exit, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. I, I, I never really got this, but this might be because I always played it on like a Super Game Boy or Game Boy Advance. Is this water or is it quicksand? I think it's quicksand. But it looks like water with the palette that's on it. <laughs> I suppose it would look, you know, like more sensical in black and white. But it looks bluish here, you know, like sea color. <laughs> Why? I mean, I don't think that those plants would be able to live underwater. And that's why it looks kind of like water more than anything. And there's a secret here, by the way. I'm going to sneak my way in here. I thought it really wasn't much of a sneak, but it was uh, a good enough sneak. This guy throws knives, so look out for that. Was... I'm gonna keep this one, because this, this just destroys blocks like crazy. <laughs> Moving on, we have a breakable block. Because we had to get through there with the power anyway. <laughs> How much of the stage should I skip? I wouldn't skip too much of it. Boop. Uh, I skipped it pretty decent amount of it from the looks of things. Hmm, where was I last? Where? What is this door? <laughs> what is this door? I bet you that other door is an exit door. Okay, I'm back at the secret sand place. I just want to show you the entire stage, which is why I'm backtracking here. Oh, I'm already at 13 minutes. <laughs> at least on the camera recording. I know I always cut off some of the beginning and stuff like that. I just I have a I have a thing where I um, record some of the screen. I mean, record some of the game and do some actions on the screen, and then sync up the sounds. That's how I do the syncing in my video editing. So there's always like a, a half minute to a minute more footage, if not more, of me just messing around with stuff, so I can sync up all the sound effects and stuff like that, and then my voice ends up synced with the uh, video and whatnot. Is this another secret? Yes, it is. Uh, I'll keep this. Uh, is this something that I want? Yes, it is. I will move... The sand just stopped moving there. <laughs> I don't know why it did that, but it did. Uh, I didn't really skip much of the stage, did I? I don't think I did. It just walks right into fire. Even though the wildlife is out to get you, it sure is vicious. <laughs> I mean, it sure, it sure is stupid, pardon me. It just, I mean, I, I've never seen an animal that would walk, like, just directly into fire. I mean, I, I suppose moths are attracted to flames, but even they wouldn't, you know, go into the flame directly. <laughs> oh, secret! Woo! Secret hidden block! And secret exit is up there, but I'm not sure how to get there in... yeah... I kind of forgot. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave the stage. And maybe that's... Uh, I'll do one more stage. Go, go, Wario, go! Not much camera time. <laughs> uh, I have enough coinages for this now. I'll try it again. Yeah, I could have swore that the black side of the power meter was the thing that screwed me over. Unless it just glitched on me before and gave me less power. Alright, so I aim for the right side of the power meter then. And aim for the enemy at the same time. Aww. And the better you perform, obviously, the better the prizes you'll get. I hope I'll be able to even hit one enemy. <laughs> I shouldn't have moved from the center. That is too bad. Mm, come on. We can do it. We can do it. Yeah! Two more bombs. Let's see if I can hit them all. Uh, oh, yeah! One more, let's do it! Do it! Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> and for my prizes, I get 10 hearts. Boop. Let's move on. 
coinages get added to my total of treasure. And this leads me through the caves. Let's start. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm running low on battery, so I'm going to end it off here. Because I'm at 15 minutes anyway, so I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video.